Welcome to the Seminole County Council PTA Awards Ceremony for the 2020 to 2021 Reflections Program. Whilst you're getting settled and waiting for the award ceremony to start, please enjoy a sample of the visual arts and photography entries from the students who are advanced to the county level of the program this year.
Welcome to the Seminole County Council PTA Awards Ceremony for the 2020 to 2021 Reflections Program. Whilst you're getting settled and waiting for the award ceremony to start, please enjoy a sample of the visual arts and photography entries from the students who are advanced to the county level of the program this year.
Welcome to the Seminole County Council PTA Awards Ceremony for the 2020 to 2021 Reflections Program. Whilst you're getting settled and waiting for the award ceremony to start, please enjoy a sample of the visual arts and photography entries from the students who are advanced to the county level of the program this year.
Hello and good evening. My name is Michelle Pettinger and I'm the Chair of the Cultural Arts and Reflections Committee for the Seminole County Council PTA. Supporting you and your PTSAs and PTAs this year as your county level chair has been an honour. Serving with me on the committee this year are Jean Lindsay, Patika Chabra and our Executive Board Sponsor Kate Murphy. Thank you all for your dedication. We have a number of people to welcome and hear from this evening. First, a very warm welcome to our Seminole County Public School Board members. Thank you for taking the time to help to celebrate our student artists this evening and thank you for sending me your thoughts so that we can share them as we move through our introductions. I also want to welcome Seminole County Council PTA President Shelley Pedraza, Vice Presidents Rachel Holler and Minnie Martinez, and other SCC PTA board members in attendance this evening. Shelley Pedraza, the SCC PTA President, has a few words to share with us this evening. Over to you, Shelley. Hi, my name is Shelley Pedraza and I am President of Seminole County Council, PTA. PTA's mission is to make every child's potential a reality by engaging and empowering families and communities to advocate for all children. Everything our PTAs do, whether it is a STEM night, spirit night, reading under the stars, staff appreciation, and now, in our current situation, drive through events, they're all done to accomplish this mission. The Reflections program is one of my favorite programs we do as PTA because the child gets to advocate for themselves. The theme this year was, I matter because. We as parents, guardians, and educators know they matter, but the absolute most important thing is for the child to know that they matter. In a year full of change and many challenges, it is more important than ever to have our children stop and think about the many reasons they matter. They hit it out of the park. I am consistently amazed at how creative, intelligent, and introspective our children can be. One of the main aspects of PTA is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Some of our students were able to express the heart of connection, the appreciation of our differences, and the value of being united. I wanna give a massive thank you to our local unit reflections chairs for putting in all the work that goes into, be, into this because it is a lot of work. They truly have an appreciation for the arts and it shows. To our Reflections Chair on our SEC PTA board, Michelle, thank you. You have done an amazing job this year. To her team and our judges, thank you for your time and your commitment to all children. To everyone that helped our kids create their art, whether it was providing materials, recording their performance, for simply supporting them. Thank you. To our guardians, parents, teachers, and in one case, a fish, thank you for taking the time and showing your children they matter. Seminole is and will continue to be united as one for all children. Congratulations, artists, you did an amazing job. Thank you so much, Shelley. Your support this year has been wonderful and I appreciate you. Next, we would like to welcome parents and loved ones who have supported the students in their creative endeavors. It has been very apparent from the program content this year that your love, support and encouragement are a large part of the fuel for their creativity. We also have with us this evening leaders and members from our Seminole County School PTSAs and PTAs. Their hard work in a virtual environment in addition to the physical collection and delivery of the artwork has been exceptional. And if you want to thank them, please think about a donation if you're able to, or approaching them to volunteer. They do wonderful work and need community support more than ever to continue to advocate for all our children. Although I don't have a full attendance list in front of me, I also suspect healthy attendance from your school faculty out there. Rest assured that your teachers, administration, and all support staff are extremely proud of you all. So lastly, on to our most important guest this evening our student artists. Thank you all for taking the time to prepare your entries when we all know the school year has provided you with the need to charter new challenges and new environments. Your resilience and strength are astounding. Your art has made us laugh, cry and think deeply while reviewing your submissions. 
There is a great power in art, and according to our judges, you have used that power with a skill beyond your years at each level of the Reflections program. Now to a quick round of thank yous. Without sponsors, the programs that we run at the county level just cannot be done. So a big thank you to our gold sponsor, SOSfundraiser.com. We'll be hearing from them later in the program. Our thanks also to Mr. Miles from South Seminole Academy for his help in editing the award ceremony presentation and for our president, Shelley Pedraza, and first vice president, Rachel Holler, for their assistance throughout the program. So a little about the program itself for those who might not be aware. Over the past 51 years, starting in 1969, the National PTA's Reflections Program has encouraged many thousands of students of all ages and abilities nationwide to explore and participate in the arts and realize their creativity, explore their own thoughts, feelings and ideas, develop artistic literacy, increase confidence, and find a love for creativity and learning that will help them become more successful in school and in life. Each year, over 300,000 students in pre-K through grade 12 create original works of art in response to a student-selected theme. The theme for the 2020-2021 program year is I Matter Because. Students submit their completed works of art in one or all of the available art categories. These categories are dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, visual arts, and we have a number of students in Seminole County that entered artwork in all six categories. Okay, I can hear you asking, when do we get to the fun bit? I promise soon. Just one more bit of info, the running order. Indulge me for a little longer so that I can help set the virtual stage. This evening, we have some students receiving honorable mentions. These are students who have not been moved onto the state level for the program, but have received this award at the Seminole County level. Tonight, we will also announce the county level placement for our students who have been recognized for their artistic ingenuity in bringing this year's theme, I Matter Because, to life in a way that is personal and meaningful. These students have been advanced to Florida State for the next round of the Reflections program. We are excitedly waiting to hear if any of our students will be placed at the state level and advance on to the national round. I certainly think we have some very strong possibilities for advancement and we will find out later this month. Okay, let's get going. Okay, everybody, here we go. Seminole County Council PTA is proud to present the Reflections Awards. Our first category in the Middle School Awards section is for film production. We have an honorable mention in film production for Paige Rosenblatt from Teague Middle School with her piece, Teamwork Works. Well done, Paige. On to our third place award winner for film production, Spencer Wainwright from Lawton Charles Middle School with his piece, The Future Generation. Well done, Spencer. Again, from Lawton Childs Middle School, we have Faith Johnston. I matter because of who I am. Well done, Faith. And this section certainly was a showcase of talent for Lawton Childs Middle School because here we go again, first place award winner, Gianna DeJore, with I matter because we are all here for a reason. Congratulations, Gianna. Our next section is literature. The honorable mention for literature at the middle school level goes to Sanford Middle School's Kamaya Jane for their piece, My World. Congratulations, Kamaya. The third place award in literature also goes to a Sanford Middle School student, Hansini Nuna. Life change is pretty scary. It certainly is, Hansini. Thank you very much for your entry and congratulations on gaining third place. Here's Lawton Childs again. Our second place award winner for literature is Kayla Gita. The extraordinary gift. Beautiful piece of literature, Kayla, well done. So our first place in literature goes to a Markham Woods Middle School Mustang, Summer Kaufman, with her piece, Why I Matter. Congratulations, Summer, beautiful work, keep writing. Moving on to music. The honorable mention for music composition goes to 
Ruby Fang from Samford Middle School for her work, Fusion. Congratulations, Ruby. Our third place award winner in music composition is Anshul Kumar with his piece, Hope. Anshul is a student at Markham Woods Middle School. Congratulations, Anshul. Our second place award winner in music composition was Riley Wilcox from Teague Middle School with Riley's piece, Never Ending End. Congratulations, Riley. So that means our first place award winner for music composition is also from Teague Middle School, Bradley Wilcox, with their piece, Outside Your Head. Congratulations, Bradley, well deserved. Next on to our photography section. The photography honorable mention goes to Galileo Riverbend student, Gigi Dottore, with their piece titled, United. Congratulations, Gigi. Our third place award winner in photography goes to Markham Woods Middle School student Anshul Kapoor with Change the World One Mushroom at a Time. Congratulations Anshul and great title. Our second place award winner in photography at the middle school level goes to Teague Middle School student Paige Rosenblatt with their piece Mind Over Matter. Congratulations Paige. So our first place award winner for photography goes to Lawton Childs Middle School student, Merrin Elizabeth Jacob, for her picture, Youthful Guardian. Congratulations, Merrin. Brilliant shot and a great artist statement. Okay, so before we move on to our final category of the evening in middle school, visual arts, we're going to hear a short message from our sponsor. Due to some technical challenges, we are not able to hear directly from our gold sponsor, sosfundraiser.com. So on behalf of SCCPTA, I want to say to them a massive thank you. They are great partners and have done training sessions for SCCPTA that I believe we can still get to and replay. So if you're interested in their products, please watch that video and understand how it works. This next slide is just a quick picture of the table of contents from their Seminole County North Orlando booklet and all of the wonderful establishments featured. I know I can certainly use some of those coupons. So once again, thank you to our gold sponsor, SOSfundraiser.com. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to run the programs that we do at the county level. So thank you very much. Right, now on to visual arts. Our honorable mention in the middle school level goes to Sanford Middle School pupil, Divya Mishra, with their piece, When a World Unravels. Congratulations, Divya. Third place award in visual arts at the middle school level goes to Lawton Charles middle school pupil Valeria Roja with their piece What You Leave Behind. Great work, congratulations. Our second place award winner in visual arts at the middle school level goes to Milwi pupil Anuva Gondi. I matter because I care. Great job Anuva. And so our last award this evening is for first place in visual arts at the middle school level. And that award goes to Sanford Middle School student, Ruby Feng, for her piece, Who I Am. Congratulations, Ruby, fantastic work. 
Before we wrap up for the evening, we want to remind everybody that the theme for next year has already been published. Next year's theme is... I will change the world by... We expect that some of you are already thinking about your work and we cannot wait to see your creativity shine once again. Thank you to everybody for your attendance and interest in our student artists. I hope everyone in attendance this evening takes the time to review your work when published on the SCCPTA website, as you will be inspired, moved and entertained. The work of the artists who were moved on to the state round of the programme will be posted on the SCCPTA's website link sccpta.com slash PTA leaders slash reflections arts programme and we will publish the link on social media so please follow SCCPTA on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you all, stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your evening.